Tom Smith is executive director of the American Society of Civil Engineers. In their most recent infrastructure report card, this group gave the United States a D plus. Tom, thank you so much for joining us right now. A D plus, that is really lousy. Why? And how does the United States rank versus other nations? Greetings, Becky. Uh, you're right. It is very lousy grade, not one you'd be proud of to, uh, from your kids or to bring home to your parents uh, years back. I, I, am, um, I think it reflects, unfortunately, a failure to invest in our infrastructure in the United States. We've been relying on the work that was been done by former generations, and there's an investment that we need to make to make sure that we're protecting future generations looking forward. How do you come up with these rankings? Are you looking at um, bridges, at uh, railways? Are you looking at uh, highways, transit? What, what, what's the real way that you break this down and why we got a D plus? Absolutely. We look at all of the above. We have 16 categories of infrastructure. We put together a pool of experts, uh, about 30 different civil engineers who are analyzing. A lot of it is data that's available through the federal government. Um, so we're looking at aviation, bridges, roads, transit, uh, dams, levees, schools, parks, solid waste, drinking water, wastewater. So all of these different categories are analyzed. Unfortunately, 12 out of the 16 categories are in the D range, which is poor or at risk, which is really reflecting a lot of our infrastructure being at the end of its, uh, of its useful life. Man, we stink. Is there anything that's actually working well? Any success stories that you could tell us about? Well, one of the, the highest grade right now is in the rail category, and I think that reflects freight rail with a lot of private investment. Washington can't agree on much these days. They can't even agree to keep the government open half of the time. So what's to say that there would actually be support for some sort of infrastructure spending in, in, in Washington? What happens when you give a D-plus to the system? Does that catch yeah. any elected officials' attention? Absolutely. Fortunately, the, you know, uh, President Trump as well as Speaker Pelosi have both talked about infrastructure. This is a bipartisan issue. Both sides of the aisle recognize the need for this. So there's a public recognition. I think the legislators recognize this. As you, as you point out, the issue is how do you pay for it? Certainly one issue with the transportation, which is a big part of the funding gap that we have right now, increasing the uh, federal gas tax, I think, is the easiest short-term solution. That has not been increased since 1993.